It's interesting because it's a big contract, isn't it? He's after getting a three and a half year contract, uh, Rory Higgins. That kind of spells out. Listen, you've got you have three and a half years, and we're not going to sack you no matter what's going to happen. And because I mean, League of Ireland clubs just can't afford to be sacking managers and giving them free money, so they're they're going to give him a go. I think you have to as well, don't you? I think if you're going to bring in uh, the likes of Higgins and Kratero in as his assistant, two lads, that this is their first. Job, managerial job, you can't expect them to, to turn it around in one season, you know, especially with Derry City. They have a lot of good young players up there, you know, it's going to take them time to gel in together and, and to find a role in the team. So, yeah, it, it, this isn't going to happen. I still feel that the, that the, the goal for Derry City this season should just be to stay up. Realistically, I, I, I can see them pushing up towards European football. I think that they're already two games in, there seems to be a bit more of a spark about them, but even with the, with the young players in the, in the longer season, you know, when injuries and suspensions and all start coming into play, just, if you can stay up this season, you know, and that's it. And then, then look for then Higgins to start steadying the ship because he's while while he's never been a manager, he's going to be similar to to O'Donnell. You know, he's well respected. A lot of lads would, would know him from Dundalk, and a lot of lads now would look up to him from his time uh, as the head scout for the Ireland team. So. It's, it's, he still is a name that will pull in people, and same with Quatara, you know, with his League of Ireland uh, pedigree. So these, these like, while they're not going to attract the the the, the, like, the, the Pat Hobbins and, and the Graham Brooks of the league, you know, they're still going to be players that are going to want to go up there and play for them. Because already in the two games which I've seen, they were City are starting to play better football than what I've seen in the past year and a half. Because last season they really underwhelmed me, and at the start of the season I thought they were poison to watch. There was actually. Games where you know we'd say, Oh, we watched the Derby City game, they're like, Oh, geez, just what I'm looking forward to. Well, already, you know, that's I'm after watching the two games now back to back, and I find them really, really enjoyable to watch. Like I said, there's more of an openness to them, there's more creativity. There's a uh, well, like so Will Patchen in particular for me has been an absolute standout over the last two games. So, yeah, here's hoping. I think for them to be looking at probably getting David Parkhouse uh, off the mark, he don't think he scored yet this season. So, if they can start incorporating him, yeah, I, I think they'd be, uh, be definitely more positive signs, but. Yeah, for me, staying up this year, it'll still be the goal. Yeah, I, I think, as you said, there's a bit of improvement in the team. They've obviously got the points, which is the most important thing. Uh, there's not much, and if you look at the league table there, if you look at them, uh, Derry, they're, they're three points behind Finn Harps, who are in fourth. So it's not it's not impossible to push on uh, for European spot. If that, that would have to be your ultimate goal there, trying to nick that fourth spot. And anything else, you know, if, you, if you're if you're finishing fourth, fifth or sixth, you'll probably be happy enough, as you said. The only thing is, is, is like all League of Ireland teams, is can you then keep players in the club? Because mm. every year you're working with a team and then you seem to be working with another team the following year. So, well, they have consistency with the manager, can they get consistency with the team as well? Yeah, it's most important, isn't it? And it's probably the hardest team for a League of Ireland manager to do. And even if you look at sides over the past decade, even most successful sides on a consistent basis, like Dundalk, a perfect example, it's because they keep that nucleus of, of, a, of a team together. You're always going to get a couple of players drifting off to other League of Ireland squads, or, or even over to England. And you, you can't be good players for wanting to make the move across the water and, and, and chance their arm. But yeah, I think that's the one exciting thing about Derry. Like I said, it's a couple of good young players there. It looks like Patrick Ferry on, on the bench. He's, he's still, it's going to take him a bit of time. He, by all accounts, he's a smashing striker. Uh, like, like, like I said, Boyce again, another player that I mentioned a couple of times. So if you're going to keep these lads and you're going to, that's, you're going to give them their first opportunity of League of Ireland football, you're hoping maybe there, you know, they'll pay it back with, with that. With, with probably loyalty is the, the one word, but they're going to pay it back and, and stick at the club and... and, and probably trust their vision because you're the guy that gave them the opportunity in the league. So I think that's that's the one thing to be hoping for because there is a, there's a, there's a good side there, you know, there is a good side. And it'd just be a shame to see that their hard work with the likes of Higgins uh, going by the wayside. Because in fairness, even Derry City, uh, at the start of this season, like the likes of Paddy McCord came into the youth structure. So they are putting a real emphasis on, on the youth development and that can only benefit the sides, you know. And, and if you can make these players homegrown, instead of looking for from players in other areas, you know, if you can develop these players within your club, that can only benefit you going forward in the future.